listening to the newspaper reviews on www.adhwaneng.com. Let's now look at the paper highlights from today's newspapers. The top highlight in daily news says, Bandula utters falsehood. MP Bandula Gunavardhana was severely reprimanded yesterday by the Presidential Commission to investigate and inquire into the issuance of Treasury bonds for misleading the public by providing false information on its ongoing proceedings. The Commission summoned MP Gunavardhana yesterday to the Commission for disseminating wrong information via the media. There's another highlight which says, CB's former female superintendent displayed integrity on bond issues, says President. President Maitripala Sirisena yesterday said, The evidence given by a former female superintendent of the Central Bank before the Presidential Commission on the bond issue showed how she tried to impart her duties honestly and with integrity. The President said among the evidence recorded so far by the Commission, the former female superintendent's statement stood out as an example of a woman trying to fulfill her duties with honesty and steadfastness. There's another highlight which says, SLMC Rift Yet to Heal. The storm within the Sri Lankan Muslim Congress had not completely settled, observed its former Secretary General Hassan Ali. He said that while there would not be a split within the SLMC, the people were not necessarily happy with its current leadership. The highlight in the middle says, Dallas request to act for Dinesh Tune Down. The joint opposition's request to recognize UPFA MP Dallas Alaha Peruma as their acting parliamentary group leader in the absence of MP Dinesh Gunavardhana was declined in parliament just again. Let's now look at the paper highlights in Daily Mirror. The top highlight says, calls to all PCs to be held on one day. The government is mulling over the possibility of conducting calls to all provincial councils on a single day rather than having staggered elections it is learned. The terms of three provincial councils, North Central, Sabaragamua and Eastern Provincial Council will end this year. The terms of other councils are due to end next year. However, the government is now contemplating whether the elections to the North Central, Sabaragamua and Eastern Provincial Councils could be withheld this year so that all could be held later next year on a single day. There's another highlight which says, wrangling over online pro-separatist campaigns. As Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe yesterday charged that a group of joint opposition members joined hands with LTTE Contras to stage a protest against him while he was in Australia, when the Deakin University conferred him with an honor degree, the joint opposition charged that the government had done nothing to prevent pro-separatist campaigns carried out online. The highlight in the middle says, Present Brion moved to compensate victim families condemned. The Committee for Protecting Rights of Prisoners were mentally condemned. The government's alleged attempt to hold back the 2012 November 9th brutal killing of prisoners during the prison riot by compensating the victims and their families. And now, let's move to the paper highlights in Ceylon today. The top highlight says, Bond scam, Mutagala reveals Ravi made primary dealers. The Presidential Commission of Inquiry to investigate and inquire into the issuance of Treasury bonds learned that finance Mr. Ravi Karanayaka made the primary dealers at the Treasury bond auction that took place on 27 February 2015, which is probably the first time such a meeting has taken place. There's another highlight which says, Joint Opposition Joint LTTE in protest, says Ronil. Several members of the Joint Opposition have united with LTTE extremists to stage a protest against him when he was awarded the honorary degree by the Deakin University while in Australia, Prime Minister Ronald Vikram Singh had told Parliament just today. The highlight in the middle says, Lankan Press Dalai Lama may attend Buddhist meet in India. Another highlight says, Champika's PA seeks justice. There's another highlight which says, Lori Body caves in. 32 injured. And the highlight at the bottom says, Police honored parliamentary tradition. Police officers who came to remove joint opposition and UPFA MP Dinesh Gunavardhana from the Chamber of Parliament removed their official insignia and numbers in order to respect parliamentary tradition, a senior police official told Ceylon today. That's all for today's newspaper highlights, and we'll get back to you with more news tomorrow.